A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Jake Wong. It is Wednesday, June 28th. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Tuesday as European Central Bank, ECB, President Christine Lagarde remarked that with inflationary pressures persistently weighing on Eurozone economies, the ECB may be forced to continue with its policy tightening measures. Brent crude prices fell by $1.92 settling at $72.26 per barrel. While WTI futures decreased by $1.67 settling at $67.70 per barrel. On Tuesday, open spec naphtha prices rose by $4 per metric ton at the $509 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In high density polyethylene. This week, HDPE prices were assessed lower in parts of the Asian region owing to a combination of tepid buying sentiment and regional oversupply. A week-on-week -week fall in upstream energy values also pulled prices lower in the region. In Far East Asia, HDPE film prices were assessed at the $900 to $930 per metric ton CFR levels, down $20 per metric ton from the previous week. HDPE yarn prices were assessed at the $900 to $930 per metric ton CFR levels, while HDPE blow molding prices were assessed at the $880 to $920 per metric ton CFR levels, both week-on-week -week declined by $10 per metric ton. HDPE injection prices were assessed at the $880 to $910 per metric ton CFR levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from the previous week. In Southeast Asia, HDPE film prices were assessed at the $930 to $970 per metric ton CFR levels, while HDPE BM prices were assessed at the $920 to $960 per metric ton CFR levels, both lower by $10 per metric ton from last week. HDPE injection prices were assessed at the $910 to $960 per metric ton CFR levels, while HDPE yarn prices were assessed at the $930 to $970 per metric ton CFR levels, both week-on-week -week decreased by $10 per metric ton. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, polypropylene prices declined in parts of Asia. A majority of traders in China remained on the sidelines on account of the Dragon Boat Festival over June 22 to 24. Downstream converters were heard to have adopted a cautious approach while replenishing their inventories on account of a continuous fall in PP prices. Prices in Southeast Asia were assessed lower on the back of discounted offers from the overseas producers. In polyethylene. This week, PE prices fell in some parts of the Asian region. A combination of tepid buying sentiment and regional oversupply put downward pressure on prices. A week-on-week -week fall in upstream energy values also pulled prices lower in the region. In polyvinyl chloride. This week, PVC prices were assessed steady in Asia. Market sentiment in the region was reportedly steady amid sufficient product avails. Before I sign off, our broadcast today is sponsored by South Korea's Direx Polymer LLC. Direx Polymer LLC is a JV company between DL Chemical and Rextac, both recognized as industry leaders in their respective fields for high-quality polymer, capable of satisfying a wide range of applications and adhesive needs in different markets. Direx Polymer's plant, with a capacity of 40,000 metric ton per year, manufactures APAO products from their world-class Yosu complex in South Korea, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. That's all for today's polymer news. Watch our daily news video on Monday to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me Jake Wong, from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.